Hello Gemini, welcome back to my channel Gems. Thank you for being here with me today. We're going to be looking at your next major relationship. So what you can expect, what sort of connection you're going to have, what's going to go down, how is it going to go down, who are you going to meet, um, what it's going to be like. Uh, we're going to explore all of that today. Um, so it is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or to the cross watchers who are currently connected to a Gemini. Anyone out there after a private reading, I am currently accepting those. So feel free to shoot me over an email uh, to book and arrange one with me. Uh, feel free to drop a like on this video if you enjoy this content. And please subscribe to the channel. That would be very much appreciated. If there's anyone out there that wants to become a channel member and subscribe to the channel, um, in terms of membership, feel free to do so via the join button um, on my homepage of the channel. Um, now that's going to give you access to any extended readings and bonus readings. Um, otherwise, let's give the cards a good shuffle and see what comes up for us Jennies. Okay, next major relationship. Okay, it's very likely that your next relationship is the one you're going to destined to, uh, the one that you're destined to be with. Next relationship is with a soulmate here, Gemini. Um, could be a gem or an Aquarius so far. Okay, it's going to require a journey. Some of you, it's, it's someone you're meeting overseas, okay, or further away. It's like a foreign person. A lot of you are, okay, wow, Taurus. We've got Sagittarius as well. Okay, Taurus has come up twice. You've got a very romantic relationship on the, in the cards here. You're going to absolutely love this. We are suckers for romance. We love to be looked after. Okay, overall energy to this person is the Page of Cups. Um, Okay, so super, super romantic person coming in around you. There is a lot of sex. There's a lot of um, dining. There's a lot of making love. There's a lot of flowers and gifts coming your way. It's really a relationship where you're going to feel like you are very, very special to this person. They're going to make you feel like on top of the world. Overall energy to this person is the Page of Cups. Now, this is a Pisces energy, so they may be a water sign, in particular a Pisces, um, but they can be ruled by other water energy like Cancer or Scorpio. There's a younger energy to this person, so I want to be surprised if this person's younger than you um, in age. Uh, they could all, or they could be like a little bit emotionally mature. Um, Okay, so they're a very creative person. So they've got a creative side. You know, maybe they're an artist, they're a fashion designer, they're an entrepreneur, they've got their own business, they're an artist. There's something like almost mysterious about this person. Um, and it's really going to reel you in, Gemini. You're going to be very curious. Um, there could be a love for animals or a love for the water. They may live by the water here as well. So they may own a lake house. Um, they could live on an island. Uh, it's like having that passion for water here. So there's, there's this, there is this younger energy to them. So water energy, not surprised, um, emotionally sensitive person. And if they do have water in their chart, that's probably explaining all that romance um, that they're going to bring to you. But they're going to be emotional and you, and, you know, we really like that, Gems. We like when someone can express how emotional they are. It's it's very sexy to us because we're like, wow, this person can tell me how they're feeling and they're not afraid to do that. Um, but, you know, they could be moody. I'm not going to lie. And water signs can be moody. Um, so the waves, okay, could be subtle moods, but they could be quite interchangeable. Okay, so very likely that this is a soulmate. This is the person that you may get married to. We've got marriage. So your next relationship could very much end up in marriage or remarriage. There's also children that have come up twice. So this next relationship is either going to bring you pregnancy, planned or unplanned, uh, or they have children. Okay, and you're going to connect with this person and you're going to end up playing a step father, mother figure to this person's children. 
but you're going to create a family. Now, the family could come before marriage. So for a lot of you, there could be a pregnancy that takes place first and then you decide to settle with this person um, because they're going to be the father or the mother of your child. Okay, so you might be connecting online. We've got the star card. Could be someone famous or someone in the public eye, possibly someone you already know. Um, I don't think you've had it. I mean, you might have had a history with them, but I get it could be someone you sort of have never sort of um, experienced something with. Now, it could be from someone who's further afield, like you either have to travel to their city, state or country, or they're going to travel to over to you. So I'm getting an expat for a lot of you from a different culture, but they are very traditional and I'm seeing this very refined energy to them. Taurian energy tells me this person's quite sophisticated, could be under the sign of a Taurus, has come up twice. Um, they're wealthy is what I'm getting. So that's why I feel like this person can probably spoil you a lot. Um, they could come from old money, okay, they could come from a rich family, um, maybe they're doing something business-wise to make them successful later in life, they're ambitious, um, but I feel like with the king of pentacles and the five, they're going to spoil you um, in whichever way, it doesn't always have to be with money, they can spoil you, you know, show up at your work, after work, pick you up, um, they could take you on a date uh, and pick you up, they could cook for you, um, Taurian energy is all about the five senses, so this next relationship, you might be dining a lot, um, listening to music, going to concerts a lot. There's a lot of activities you'll have, and you're going to love that, because we just love going to activities, and what better way to do that than to share it with someone special and someone that you love and can have fun with, so you're going to really enjoy that. Uh, okay, Sagittarius energy, I feel like that's the spontaneity and, and, and all of those things coming in. This relationship is going to teach you a thing or two about being honest and being truthful. Um, it could also open your eyes sexually because Taurian energy is like Venus, goddess of sex and love. So I'm connecting here that you're going to become, you're going to explore your sexuality maybe more in this relationship or maybe you guys are just going to be like rabbits, okay? You're going to be in love, obsessed and all those sorts of things. But I feel like, yeah, back to this honesty thing, I think this relationship is going to teach you to be more honest with yourself and, and this person. Um, it, you may discover some of your insecurities with the Nine of Swords. So it's like this next relationship, you're going to see where you went wrong in previous relationships. Um, and it's sort of like, I don't know, maybe if you've learned it with someone else, but you're going to apply everything new, anything that you were sort of anxious or insecure about. I feel like you're going to apply that knowledge um, to this next relationship and that's why I think it's going to be more successful than maybe your previous relationships because you're going to move away from things you've done before that haven't worked for you um, Gemini so I feel like any sort of lessons that you've learned even if they were painful even if they still get you upset with that nine of swords you know anything about rushing and um, taking things too quickly you're going to learn okay I feel like selfishness as well okay we can be selfish at times gemini and that's because we're that's because we're an anxious bunch and when when you're anxious you only think about yourself right you think about what you want what's going to make you happy it can be all about us and sometimes we forget that our partners are involved as well anyway so that truth that selfishness you might see because the sun is magnified and the sun is the self it's the sun sign so i feel like that might be magnified um, and I feel like you're going to be inspired with that star card in a lot of ways by this person. So that they'll have a lot to teach you, which I like. But you'll also be bringing in st like stuff you've learned from other people here as well. Um, but I feel like it's very likely that you could end up in a beautiful family and have a family. You know, for some of you, like, maybe you grew up without parents. And, you know, having parents and having that father and mother figure in your life is very important and having good relationships with your mother-in-law your father-in-law is also very important um and you're going to have that because that's going to be very important to you because you know your heart might be wanting that if you haven't had that um or you feel like you were deprived of a relationship with your mother and father this person's family could really take you in um and that's going to be really important to you if that's the case uh, 
but yes, I feel like it's this relationship is going to teach you a lot about independence as well. You're going to communicate very well with this person and you're going to want to share them. Like you want it all over social media. You want it all over Facebook. The star card is like exposing things, having it in public. You're going to be very um, big on public displays of affection. Um, that's because you'll be very proud to have this person. You know, um, you want to show the world who you have by your side. Um, you don't want to hide this person. You don't want them to hide you. And they'll be exactly the same. They'll feel the same. And you're going to feel very proud that they're sharing you with their friends and family. Um, and it's like this loyalty thing. Taurian energy is loyalty. So I feel like in some way for us gems, it validates that they're loyal to us. Um, so that's that's very sweet. I think you'll be very happy with that. Um, it could be a divine masculine, divine feminine connection, but I do feel very strongly it's soulmate energy between you and them. Um, things could happen fairly fast. The Knight of Swords is sort of crowning your reading here, so I wonder if an unexpected pregnancy or, you know, you meet them, they want to settle down, they won't want to waste any time. So I feel for a lot of you, this the way this is going to develop, it's going to happen very quickly, more quicker than you anticipated or you had planned. So I wouldn't be too surprised if there's an engagement that comes very soon or children or this this acceptance of family, this, this blending of families. You might introduce them to your family fairly quickly. The pacing of this connection, I feel, is going to happen uh, very quickly. You'll travel a lot. This relationship brings a lot of travel here to you. So, you know, if they've got parents overseas, if they've got businesses overseas, the Six of Swords, there could be travel um, involved. But two angels coming up, I feel like you have spirit, the universe, fate that's looking after this relationship. So it's a very sacred relationship. Something will happen that's very near and dear to your heart, um, very near and dear to anything you've sort of been through, Gems. Um, this person might do, very, uh, might do something very sweet and very sentimental that no other man or woman has done for you in your life. And they're going to show you what true love is. And, you know, you're deserving of it. Embrace it. Go along with it. Try not to get too caught up in your anxiety. And appreciate every little sweet, beautiful thing they do for you. Because it's, you know, we it's human nature to, to not appreciate, not love, not enjoy it. And I feel like, you know, the sun's coming out for you here. So I feel like this has a lot of potential to shine and be the best relationship you've ever had in your life. Um, and I'm seeing respect with the higher up in here as well. So there's a, a lot of respect you're going to have for this person. And they're going to put you on a pedestal. You're going to love that. They're going to make you the priority. They'll want to know what you think about things. They're going to maybe write a song about you, or write a poem. Remember, they're artistic. Um, you know, write a blog about you. They might post you all over their social media, create a little collage. Like, it's going to be something very sentimental and sweet for you. And it doesn't have to make sense to anyone else um, or go with convention. The Page of Cups doesn't go with convention. So um, this person's not going to be worried what other people think, you know, about what other couples do. They'll just want to make you happy. And vice versa, you'll just want to make them happy. And you will. I see the both of you being very much in love. Um, together so that's so so beautiful so deserving of it so beautiful and I do hope you're very happy uh, gems so I'm gonna wrap up the reading there uh, anyone after a personalized a tarot reading with me please feel free to email me my email is below in the show more section uh, also drop a like if you enjoy this content 
Um, otherwise, feel free to become a channel member to get access to bonus and extended readings. Um, otherwise, I do hope to be in touch again very soon. It does mean a lot that you've tuned into the channel. So hopefully we'll be in touch again very soon. Thanks again. Lots of love gems and bye for now.